Welcome back to the Finance AI channel. In this video, we're going to talk about something that's on the minds of many people looking to save and invest their money. Real estate investing. Now, you might be thinking, but wait, real estate investing is too risky and complicated, right? Like trying to survive a game of Monopoly with your family. Well, that's not always the case. With a little knowledge and some smart strategies, you can navigate the real estate market and make it work for you. First, let's start with the basics. Real estate investing is the process of buying, owning, managing, renting and or selling real estate for profit. This includes residential properties, commercial properties and industrial properties. It's like being a detective, you need to know what you're buying, what the potential is and what you're going to do with it. Now, let's talk about the different types of real estate investing. The most common type is residential properties, which include single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes and apartments. It's like solving a mystery, you want to start small and work your way up. Then there's commercial properties, which include office buildings, retail spaces and warehouses. Think of it like playing a game of chess, residential property. S are your pawns, and commercial properties are your queen. And lastly, there's industrial properties which include warehouses and factories. Think of it like playing a game of cards, it's not for everyone, but it can be a great investment if you know what you're doing. Next, let's talk about the different ways to invest in real estate. One way is to buy properties and hold onto them for rental income, but this can be risky and time-consuming. It's like playing a game of poker, you need to be careful and not put all your chips in one hand. A more diversified approach is to invest in real estate investment trusts, REITs, or real estate crowdfunding platforms, which give you exposure to a basket of properties. It's like playing a game of blackjack, you get to play multiple hands, and you have a better chance of winning. You can also invest in real estate syndications or real estate partnerships, where you pool your money with other investors to buy larger properties. It's like playing a game of darts, you have the advantage of a bigger budget and the expertise of the other players. Now, let's talk about some strategies for investing in real estate. One strategy is to invest in markets with strong rental demand and population growth. Another strategy is to invest in properties that have potential for appreciation, like fixer-uppers or undervalued properties. It's like playing a game of Sudoku, you want to find a property that has potential and can increase in value over time. A more advanced strategy is to invest in properties that generate positive cash flow, like multifamily properties or Airbnb rentals. It's like playing a game of Jenga, you want to find a property that pays for itself and generates additional income. And finally, let's talk about some of the risks involved in investing in real estate. One risk is that the value of your investment can go down, so it's important to have a long-term perspective and not to panic during market downturns. It's like playing a game of snakes and ladders, you might encounter a few setbacks, but you need to keep climbing out of the risk, is that the property you invest in may not perform as well as expected, like buying a haunted house but don't worry, that's why we're here to help you navigate the maze of real estate investing don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, because let's be real, you don't want to miss out on any of my future financial advice and real estate investing strategies, and if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.